everybody welcome hey how are you guys welcome back to our what sold on ebay poshmark and mercari yeah we had 20 items going out today so join us to see what's sold okay so i'm gonna start with my favorite sale which is the agolde jeans that i found size 30. they are just awesome i looked them up and they were going for around 125 here and there around 125 120 and i just really wanted to move these so i listed them for 99 and i accepted an offer they sold within hours right. of um what did was you what did i accept it came up to 74.25 74.25 for these pair of a gold day jeans so that made me really happy and they're not even jeans they're distressed the cut off shorts. shorts jean shorts excuse <laughs> me i'm so used to having the jeans that yeah I, yeah I, 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 it, it's just like less fabric for an insane amount of money it's pretty, pretty totally cool. yeah i didn't even know they made shorts but hey they do <laughs> uh, so uh and the other pair of pants uh these are jean pants that i actually ended up selling they were a paper bag waist by zara really cute kind of crops black denim just adorable and i sold those for $20. $20. Here's my $20. <laughs> and finally, something that I also just added to my closet was an Athleta size extra large zippy jacket with this really um, cool, it's an athletic zip up jacket. Cool, like, I don't know, a swirly motif on it. And I ended up selling this one for. $35. $35. And that's all just before we started making this video, too. So that was nice. <laughs> yeah, it happened about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> so those are a couple of things that I um, happened to get from Mercari and, and Poshmark. I'm grateful. And so we always love to do that cross listing mm -hmm. because it gets those fresh eyes on new platforms. And whether it's Poshmark, uh, Mercari, whether you you know care for them anymore or whatever is going on, <laughs> uh, get those uh, listings on eBay, get some more eyes, and get some more sales. List Perfectly makes it really easy to do that. So uh, we're gonna check out some more sales that started off on eBay and sold on Poshmark or Mercari. All right, so going on Poshmark, uh, crazy enough, are some more appliance parts. Now, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know us, we like Cuisinart, we like the to sell those parts. They just, you know, you put them up and they sell usually fairly quickly. And this one sold on Poshmark. Now, let's see, it went for a little bit uh, less, which is a good offer, but $14. And you'll remember us finding these in a very recent video where we went to a huge barn sale. <laughs> <laughs> that was just crazy. It just had tons of stuff, and we found these parts right away. We'll find these in bin W. So right over here. Here it is, guys. $16.99 for this little thing, and I don't know, we probably paid about a dollar for it. So we'll take that any day. These are so easy to list. You just look up the little model number here. You gotta kind of look for it. But uh, just type that in, and you'll find that these parts sell all the time. Super grateful for that one, especially on Poshmark. And another thing on Poshmark, of course, you know that I love to sell baseball gloves. And this one is no exception. This one sold pretty quickly too. We took an offer on Poshmark here of $22, which is maybe a little bit less than uh, we could have gotten for it had we had, you know, wait, you know, it's the right season and everything. But we decided to just give this person a really good deal and uh, get our inventory moving here. So, we'll find that in H2. And this is a Louisville Zephyr glove. Really nice, it's got a nice feel. It's got a good soft leather and uh, sort of broken in already. So, nice pickup there. Um, honey, you found that and brought it home and I was like, hooray, <laughs> awesome baseball glove to list. <laughs> And let's see what else went on Poshmark. Now, this is not really a surprise that went on Poshmark. We got some shoes here. But uh, what's surprising is that these took so long to sell, I think. Um, as you see by the custom label there, or our custom SKU, 822. Now, that means I listed these in August of 2022. So they've been sitting around for like a year and a half or so. Um, I remember finding these in the bins, actually, with no laces. So I actually just 
uh, put them as that, like ready to customize, no laces. And um, we got, let's see, on Poshmark, we took an offer of $20 for these uh, nice Nike Sweet Classic High Tops. And we'll find these over there in our shoe bins, which is this way. All right, we're gonna shoot to check out how nice these are. I mean, they're not in the greatest shape, but pretty sweet colors. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm really surprised that these didn't go quicker, honestly. But yeah, it takes the right buyer for that one, I guess. Now, let's see what else went on Poshmark that was actually a little bit surprising. Now, this right here is something that um, I was actually playing with when I was younger. This is a Tonka Desert Express semi-trailer. So it's just a nice little, you know, sort of replica made by Tonka. Pretty cool. This thing went on Poshmark for uh, $23 plus shipping. So it's not bad. Next going out on Poshmark, we have something that's surprising again. And this is some vintage Pyrex. Now this was a pattern that we found, I believe at Value Village when we were thrifting there. And this is a Colonial Mist Blue with some wildflowers. And this went on Poshmark for $22 plus shipping. So that is pretty sweet. Now, mm -hmm. you know, some of these Pyrex patterns uh, sell for huge money. Um, so it's always nice to, you know, look something up when you find something like that. And we'll find that in BMW once again. I already pre-packaged this. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much ready to go. Oh, well, not. I mean, we're going to obviously put some more bubble wrap around it, but um, keeps it safe while it's being in, uh, while it's being stored. <laughs> that is it for Poshmark, guys. So let's see. There's a couple more things that went over on Mercari. And one of them, let's see. I think we found this at Walgreens uh, in around Valentine's Day. After Valentine's Day, all the, all, you know, everything's all on sale. Um, honey, you found these uh, baby silicone teether rings, a three pack there and they actually sold for nine dollars plus shipping so that's pretty cool mm -hmm. very cool so we're gonna find those actually in bin a10 which is right here let's put all of these smalls with smalls and i put that in a little bag so it wouldn't get all you know dirty or something mm -hmm. um, not bad there i think we probably paid that like a dollar for that or something mm -hmm. so and the last thing going out from Mercari was this vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles board game. Mm -hmm. You'll remember us finding this in a, um, again, the same exact recent video. Uh, we're at the big old barn. All right, so here it is. This is not a new and sealed game. So I just uh, stuffed it with, you know, some packaging already. So it wouldn't shift around and then put some uh, shrink wrap around it to keep it uh, you know, from opening or whatever. It also gives it the layer protection. So that went out for $25. I just uh, accepted an offer on that. And uh, that went out today. It did not take long to sell as well. Love it. Now we're gonna go on to some things that sold on eBay. And right over here, we're gonna find something that's been sitting around actually for a few years. I um, found these at a uh, an American Legion that was closing. Mm. And uh, they basically gave me this big box of vintage Halloween trick-or-treat bags. Um, they have McGruff on them, so and they were from 1993. So I thought, oh my gosh, these gotta be, you know, somebody's gonna want a bunch of these, you know, maybe for school or something like that. And there's a huge box of them right here. Check this out. Um, hundreds of them. So um, we're selling these in lots of five. And on sale, it looks like, with this crooked number of 1004, um, free shipping. So this obviously ain't gonna cost any more than $4. And we got hundreds of these for free. So we'll send these out to somebody that's gonna use them for something. And now behind you, we have a toy that sold on eBay. And we're gonna find that in the toy one bin, which is right over here. This is an uh, Austin Powers Felicity Shagwell uh, Heather Graham six inch action figure from uh, the movie, of course, remember Austin Powers. Uh -uh. And that is somewhere here. I like to put um, like toys that are like on cards or pops, things like that with like uh, 
um, things so they're not so heavy and don't squish each other. When it comes to uh, condition, you know, with toys that people might appreciate it coming very minty. So here we go. All right, same thing here. I just put it in a bag so it would protect the card on there. And here it is. I went for um, not the greatest price. I was very surprised. Uh, $7.36 plus shipping. Plus 10 something shipping. So, I mean, it's like a $20 toy, but you know, that's with shipping included. So, probably would not pick that one up again, honestly. All right. Now, we're going to go back over here because we have a couple of movies going out, of course. We always soak some kind of media. And not too much this time, though. We just have a couple going out. One is a CD by Etta James called At Last. Um, some, you know, oldies there. And also a, a movie from the 80s, Roxanne. If you might remember that <laughs> one I with do. Steve Martin, yeah. <laughs> cool. Next, going out on eBay, we have a Camelback Eddie Kids Bottle Accessory which is two bite valves and two straws, you know, for like a camel bottle or backpack. Now these um, we found in one of our first videos that we did together, I remember. It was in a state sale. I can't remember if it was in Minneapolis, but uh, just check this video out here and uh, you'll find us finding these. And these went for only 803 free shipping. They're extremely light, no more than four ounces, so no more than $4. And we're gonna find those in bin 11. Here they are. Tiny, throw them in a bubble mailer. They took two minutes to list, store, and ship. So, whatever we make from them, yay. Mm. Now, we have uh, another thing that we love to sell, and we found these. They must be from Walgreens, by the brand name there. Two of these sold, actually. Holiday Time 100 Count Mini Blue String Lights. Um, and we'll find those over there. You know how we love selling String lights. We always have a running collection over here. And somebody bought two of these. This is not a good example of ones to buy, apparently. Um, going for, you know, so little. But uh, we're going to get, you know, somebody's house all lit up. So we feel good about that. <laughs> now, something that is going to um, brighten a child's day is this handcrafted wooden frog gyro rhythm percussion musical instrument now honey you love these mm, i love this and this is i'm really sad that this is actually the last one um there is one left one left i now, love these things yeah unfortunately but this one is going for 602 plus shipping uh, um i'll show you this how many there used to be because I put this reel up when I found these at a yard sale um, when I first started Instagram and YouTube back in the day and these are the only two left right here so one of them is getting sold and I don't know would this last chance it might sell should we just keep the last one it's really they're really cool <laughs> they are they make the cool little <laughs> so yeah pretty cool one elmer, of these is going elmer out. will like to chew it up look at him Ooh. elmer would love this one i'm sure uh -huh. i'm sure he would but mm -hmm. i don't know no no okay well we'll send it off to another happy kid that's gonna probably annoy their parents in no time with one of those but it's still really cool <laughs> mm. also going out on ebay we have this columbia security wallet now this is a hard case it has like some like ribs in it mm -hmm. and it's pretty cool. It sold for 20 bucks. Um, I believe I just found this up in Michelle's Attic of Wonders one day, and I was like, this, this got to be worth something. Yeah, so, uh, it didn't take too long to sell either. And another thing that did not take too long to sell, and you'll re remember us finding this once again in that uh, same video with the huge barn. So go ahead and check that one out because we found a lot of good stuff that sold fast. That's a great video. Oh my gosh, yes. And that was a, another Cuisinart part. It was uh, one of the bowls that I found right away when I walked in there, right along next to the other Cuisinart part that I sold. Yeah, that was a great way to start off that sale for sure. Oh my gosh, yeah, right away. And that's in bin uh, V2 and Luna has joined us. Hi Luna. <laughs> did you hear 
Hi. She says hello too. Yeah, she had, uh oh, she had butted you guys. Okay. Where's daddy? Here he is. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. Um, so that was in bin uh, V2, which is over here somewhere. We're actually working on uh, getting all of our inventory, perhaps maybe even up in the third floor um, together, because uh, as you can see, we need more space. We need more shelving to put um, um, all the stuff that we're listing. So yeah. <laughs> last but not least on eBay, we have something that we found for free on the side of the road and you probably remember us by a recent shirt that we found this and this is a vintage kids of america plush witch named sophia and it's a halloween trick-or-treat uh, candy bucket basically that thing went for 25.49 plus shipping um, through the international shipping program on ebay so i'm not exactly sure where it's headed but it was an international sale so cool uh, we just found it free on the side of the road now it's heading over to Europe or something. So really happy about that. We'll find that in our Halloween one bucket. All right, so let's see. Oh, here's Joey, if you remember. Oh yeah. Find that one at the same time. And, oh, here we go. Sophia, the witch. Cute, yes. So super happy that went off for 25 bucks to, you know, somewhere else in the world. Uh, we're really grateful of that, and we're super grateful of each and every sale that we get here. And oh my gosh, we've been listing, listing, listing to make uh, to make that happen. So oh my gosh, guys, congratulations, and have a great day of sales. Thanks for spending time with us, as always. Mm -hmm. And we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys. That's up to you.